for this year, this calendar year, Lord, we know mm-hmm. that we're coming into a, a season that you don't necessarily observe. But many people around the world are observing a shift in, uh, in years. And so, Lord, as we finish this year strong, we pray that you would continue to guide us by your spirit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lord, and that as we begin to, to embark on another calendar year here, uh, Lord, that we would continue to be mindful of your spirit, mm-hmm. that our endeavors would all the more be spirit-led, spirit-guided, Lord, that we would be rooted in, in the truth of your word, mm-hmm. in the truth of your purpose, uh, and that, Lord, even as we reflect upon uh, poems, essays, uh, that we'd be mindful uh, of, of your heart for us, uh, of your wisdom that you would desire for us to, to meditate upon and apply. Mm-hmm. And that, Lord, it would truly impact our lives, Lord. And so we set aside this time as not merely a learning exercise, mm. uh, but, Lord, as an opportunity to, to become closer to you in your heart, to, to understand one another, uh, to understand even the written word and how, uh, Father, you made the word flesh. Mm. Uh, may the word be flesh in our lives as well by your spirit, I pray in Jesus' name. Mm. Amen. Um, good news. John's report to me that uh, Sister Carol, the daughter of Sister Carol, who seems to suffering swollen because the child just got a new boy born into the world. So, bless the Lord. Lord, we bless that child. Amen. Noah, help us to bless that child. Mm. Yes, Lord, we lift up uh, this Lord, new birth to you, Father. Mm. And Thanksgiving, Lord, and Lord, uh, I pray that each one of us, regardless of uh, the lack of association we may have with that family, Lord, physically, mm. we rejoice, would rejoice before you and praise you, Lord, in the spiritual realm for, mm. for the, your addition of this life into our midst. Mm. Uh, Lord, I pray that our dear sister Carol would be blessed, Lord, mm. as a, a grandmother, father, mm. and uh, Lord, that you would add unto her every blessing that comes to this new uh, hmm. relationship. Yes, Father. Um, Lord, may she see uh, even a new uh, beginning in her own life, Lord, through this experience. Mm-hmm. Lord, we thank you for your protection in their lives, and we pray for continual uh, healing and mm-hmm. uh, life to them. Mm-hmm. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Um, I do wanted to share something. I want to still seek you guys, um, you know, input in this. That is, I want to teach a little bit of called uh, the market down language, a simple language that Union Rosie adopts, especially in the people who are doing programming, doing online documentation, those kind of things. They have this l- simple language. And uh, it does not really depends on any particular software. Uh, it depends on very simple tools for publication. The export formats can be PDF, Word, HTML. So Universal is most all kind of formats that are out there for writing documents. Uh, this one can simply do it, you know. So if you have computers, I hope you do, or an iPad, you know. So you pretty much good with the learning how to do it. It's simple language only take about one hour at the most. Everybody has to learn to do it themselves. Uh, so it can replace Word, whatever software out there for writing documents. Okay, so uh, so you always will learn a little basic of how to use a program, how to use a computer differently. The most important thing is um, uh, Word. Google Doc, when it's poor things, it's very, very shabby, very, very dysfunctional. Things exported can very accept you, you know how to do the tricks. It's very hard to really copy it out. So what, what I encourage you to do is that continue use another software to make your own any work happen. Otherwise, so you do export, import, you don't necessarily limit it by the Google Docs from things. So the second thing is that when you export, like you export a book, you can even export EPUB that you read on your 
softwares, you know, apps or uh, book apps. So <clears throat> they have a different format as well. You know, you can export in different formats like a template, am I? Instantly templates. So the good things about that is then you, when you in the future you know that, you will be very adequately to traverse in different uh, learning environment and different editing environment, you know, if you want to be a good uh, professional editor, professional programmer, those things is basic tool you learn to do it. Okay, so that's up to you guys. You don't have to use it, but I like to teach you a little bit for that equipping. So in the future, we're going to do some editing, publishing. You can work with me. That's a tool I want to use, you know, so because that's a basic tool we're publishing from the website, for example. Or else I have to do a lot of editing work, reformatting work. It's a lot of wasting time, you know, when I have 10 copies, different sources, it takes for me hours just do your do the formatting, doing tons of so do reformatting in order to publish it. But once you have the uniform tools, it's one click away, you know, one copy away from me. It makes things super easy for no one else run the publishing pretty uh, tedious process. So in the future, you might contribute a certain thing, publishing different website, that's a tool is good for you as well. I'll just give you a, a presentation, the usage for that tool. Some of you might already using it, no one. Some of you had already give a lesson ahead of time. Um, so maybe also inspire you to learn how to do some basic programming, you know, stuff like that. That being said, uh, today I'm uh, going to have a Noah to give us a uh, uh, baseline what to do. And uh, Noah, what do you think we should do today? Uh, we mm. can do several different things. Okay. Let's I have edited all the essays, so if we, we wanted to pick out a few of those to read together, we can. We could read poems. Read the poems, okay. That's a good I, I way as well. Poems. Okay. I don't have preference. Um, I do want to at least read the ones you said are going to be visited by all of us. I don't know which is which yet. Do you have a, a list for Should that? Should we do three still? Like we yeah, do three. Well, There's so I many students. Do, yeah. In that case, so mm -hmm. we would do uh, Naomi's, Kayla's, and Elijah's. Oh, nice. Okay. I have all three that with me. Now, forgive me if I can't read everybody's uh, essay, okay? So if you really personally want me to say, that, hey, this is valid, um, then I would like to read your essays, okay? So, Azir, I would like to see your essay, okay? So, <laughs> Azir, sorry, Azir, how to do that? Isaac. Azir. It's fine. It's the same message. Okay. It's the same message. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call you I. <laughs> you can call me I as well. <laughs> I'm teasing you guys. Well, um, yeah. Who 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 wanted me to read your essay? Besides the three. Uh -huh. well, if you want, I read mine. Oh, you're you're on the list. Oh yeah yeah. I can read yours. Yeah yeah. I got yours. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No volunteer. They were the size, so, yeah. You can read mine. I have not seen it yet. So, send to me, okay, so, yeah. I thought we were reading... Okay, uh, who, which one I'm gonna go first today? Noah? Uh, we can start with Naomi's. Naomi's, wow. Okay, go ahead, Naomi. Should I send it to everyone, or? Yes. Okay. Uh, Elijah and Kayla, if while we're doing this, go ahead and send your essays to everyone too, so that we don't have to wait for that. I have an email sent out. Email sent out. Okay. Um, let me include. Uh, um, first thing first. Uh, hey. Um, let me see. Hannah, do do I don't have your email. I need to in list you. Can you share your contact information with me? Over email? Mm, anything. You have an app in mind called Contact App, right? Probably just um, mm. send your email to Emmanuel through text. No. Okay. Just, just give, give me your iPad. I can help okay. you with that. Yeah, so. right. Your you iPad, yeah. So. Okay. It's okay. So Come around. I'll show you something. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, where's your contact app? Do you have a contact app? I don't know. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a contact app, right? Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So, you're gonna search Hannah, right? Okay. So, oh, see, Hannah, that's your. Okay. You okay. Wow, you don't have your email address. You want to end it, okay? Enter it. Mm -hmm. So, once you end it, like it's yeah. 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 okay. You can share contact with people, okay? So. Making sense to you? So, so what's your email? Can you write down for me somewhere? Uh, we really don't have the. Can you borrow her paper? Write down for me your email. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's get contact up. Okay, I'll see your paper sir, right down there. My, my email for Manuel, because he wants to see what he wants to see. I don't have anything written down on here. Right. Now, let me see. Hold on. I think I have your email, Hannah. I have your email. Yeah. I just need to share my contact with you. So let me show you. Yeah, see, this is how you do it. Okay, see my contact. Do you get email on your iPad or on your phone? Okay. Oh, my okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See that? I got your email. That's my email. That's your email. I know. So, okay. In order to share my contact with you, just go here. And you see that in the end, it will be what? Send, share contact, right? So, share with Hannah. See that? Huh? That one? It's supposed to file, right? This one, right? So, okay. There you go. You got my contact, okay? So now check your Gmail now. Mm -hmm. This is gonna take a little bit of time, so. Huh. You don't have Wi Fi. Let me, you don't have Wi Fi. Let me share Wi Fi with you. Why not share Wi Fi? You can ask them to join. Which one? There we go. Huh. Huh. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Works, am I right? So, okay. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Then go to your Gmail now. That's me. So you just click on that thing. And then you... Yeah, so it's supposed to be down. Is this your status? I thought that was all the time. Uh, both of them. That, this one is my email, and that one is my iPod. I don't know. So I'll just send again to your email. See? It's your contact now, so you can share. Okay, share things with me then. Now, so. It's going to use this one, okay? Is this one? one Kingdom Age. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. For like sharing like. Share the good dog, email, oh, whatever. Oh, so, oh. yeah, yeah. Really? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I got it. So, yeah. Okay, now let's just start our lesson. I hope I'm still with you guys. So, so let's uh, Naomi start. Go ahead, Naomi. Okay. I didn't get yours, Elijah. Oh, text it to you there. Oh, text it to you there. Let me just find it really quick. Oh, wait. Oh, Kayla, yours popped up on my Okay. Yeah, it works. No. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I got Kayla. There's people next to you if you want to go. Also, just look at their screen. Yeah, I guess. Hannah, you want to go there, write down your email. On the blackboard there, so yeah. Just write your email on the board. Oh. That's my own spot. Go fish. Thanks, Kayla. Are we good, everybody? I hope you got everything. Okay, go ahead and tell me. Okay, we should. Oh, there I, I, I have now. Okay. Alrighty. Patience. <laughs> the fruit of patience is letting go of our souls. It is the window to a disciplined heart and a confident outlook on our lives. 
Diving into the purpose of patience, I will go over why we must practice this trait and why it is important for our well-being. The practice of patience in our lives is an inspiring topic. It helps us to find the true motivation behind the change in our walk with the Lord and, and the honorable things we can learn in life through patience. We begin to realize the true essence, essence of a patient heart and a disciplined soul. The worrisome side of our human nature will begin to be tamed, and our hearts will be open to the will of the Father. Mm. Louder, please. I believe that using this trait helps us see our life in a new way, leading to a life without interrogation. Mm. It is having the willpower to suffer and go through the hardship without giving up. With patience, we can achieve our death of ourselves. Mm. <clears throat> Why is my heart weary when I should put my trust in him who knows my future? The Lord knows and loves his sons with all that he is. So have patience in the maker of your being and believe that the laying down of your life will produce the fruit of patience. Mm. Patience is endurance. It's in those everyday decisions that we make that will direct our future. And in those moments, we must choose the good. The state, this state is also our mental strength that helps us to keep on in, in life, encouraging us to move on without the need for instant gratification. For in our modern, modern time, we have everything we need and want in our grasp, like food, information on devices, and enjoyment. Aside from the positive aspects of the modern day implements, we have seemed to take the wrong practice of always needing things in life constantly. We must understand that the best things in our life come with time and patience. It is best to wait on God in his timing so that we don't lose what he has in his, has in his appointed time and purpose. But it is also good to live in the moment using patience to sustain the needs of our souls. The primary goal for a patient heart and mind is the outcome of our actions. I guess that got crossed out. Mm -hmm. That's me. Of course. Okay, and future. Mm -hmm. When it becomes a routine, it becomes a way of life. As it becomes a way of life, it is then passed down from generation to generation. Mm. It is seen by the Father when our hearts are steadfast and when our walk leads to His will. Mm. We realize that we can truly learn just by waiting. We can control who we are and what we do just by using patience. All in all, patience is a very underrated strength to have and practice. We need, to, we need it to truly appreciate our lives and to be successful. If we have the power to let go of our soul, we will begin to realize that the things in the slow and unruffled moments are the most important. So choose patience, not indulgence. Wow, that is beautiful. I see. Mm. But uh, let's uh, turn to the one who highlighted this essay, Noah. Can you tell us why you choose this essay? It's a good example. Mm -hmm. Um, Naomi expressed her thoughts uh, clearly, and um, I like the uh, the illustration she makes with patience being uh, something that is, uh, at least the practice of it, is something that is a, a soul struggle, a soul struggle sometimes. Mm. Um, so she makes it a... Uh, a very, sounds silly to say, but almost like a, a very personal thing. Mm. Um, I do also like the uh, um, synonym that she um, states with uh, saying that patience is endurance. Endurance. Which mm -hmm. is just a very, um, very practical and clear way to um, mm. describe what patience is. It's basically... Mm. Uh, the practice of and the the, the uh, mm. 
the mindset of endurance. And when we talk about mindsets, of course, we're mm. talking about the way that we not only perceive things, but the way that we make decisions, which she also expounds on a little bit in that paragraph where she mentions mm-hmm. uh, endurance as patience, or patience as endurance. Yeah. Um, on top of that, uh, in terms of her score, she uh, did relatively well with her, uh, not just her expression, but with her grammar as well. Mm. Uh, and yeah, I did appreciate just her thoughts and mm. the mode in which she expressed them. Mm. Just on the way of success, the beautiful mental motto like statements you know like choose patience not indulgence you know so so simple and so um, i don't know if she meant indulgence or not but what she had written down there is indolence oh really oh in, I oh sorry i yeah it's, it's indolence yeah. okay I think it should be indulgence, you say in Chinese, okay, that's the misspelling, sorry, <laughs> I didn't read one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I like the way some, some, some thoughts you highlighted that were meaningful to me, so. But one, one person I want to hear, next one, so, well, allow me to do this, let me sh- share something with you. In a, in a group setting, like a bigger setting, they need some flow, okay? So I'm gonna try to guide to that flow. Later on, when get uh, familiar with one another, get uh, used to certain flows, we can easily uh, more become more flexible, more spontaneous. But in the beginning, for conversation, for things be more substantial and helpful, uh, I want to take a lead in guiding the flow. So today we have the benefit to have um, Brother Zetian with us. He's always we're we're um, insightful and helpful with this kind of thing. So let him to comment. So Brother, go ahead. Yeah, yeah I, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm building up. I don't have a lot of. Uh, Things different to say to Noah. Mm. Uh, although I, I will say again, um, for those who haven't uh, been in our class before, that um, mm. she really writes with authority, mm. and and it's an ex- it's experiential authority. There's something you want to write down for your own benefit. That statements is very rare in commenting as the writings. Okay, it's come from an angle of experience as more than reader a writer. And then avid and insightful reader can offer that kind of insight. So you want to just, you know, even offer comments that are different calibers. So to look at the person said it's that one, writing authority. That means he read a lot of people's work in that caliber, right? He studied a lot of history figures, maybe carries authority in life. Making sense to you? So, which is just indeed. So, so he appreciated this essay from a different point of view. Amen, hallelujah, you know, so. Do you guys want to take notes? Or just sort of stare at me? Leanne? Stare at you. Okay, I said taking notes, what do you do? Pick up your pen, taking notes. <laughs> I, I would say to you, one of my favorite uh, lines in here, because I think it, this also carries not mm-hmm. just a technical essay flow, it uh-huh. is poetic. Yeah. Leanne, I'll tell you, take notes the second time. Third time, I'm going to take a notice for you, okay? You continue this mode, you will not be here anymore. You, are, you understand that? Yes, sir. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's very poetic in the, mm-hmm. way, that it, the way that it, it flows. And so uh-huh. there's very, I think, the way that she writes here is, is very particular in the, in the, the words that she uses. But the, the one uh, sentence is actually towards the end of it. It says uh, this again. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the penultimate sentence here. Mm. Uh, if we have the power to let go of our soul, mm-hmm. we will begin to realize that the things in the slow and unruffled moments mm. are the most important. Mm. And, I, and I, I think in many ways that the essay really culminates to that, to mm. that line. Mm. Uh, as being, I mean, really uh, powerfully stated. And I love the way that she phrased it. There's the slow mm. and unruffled. Unruffled. Mm. 
are the most important. And, and so then with the last sentence there, mm. kind of been driving home because mm. of that, that sentence. Mm. So choose patience, not indulgence, indolence, whatever she determined to go mm -hmm. with there. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's, that sentence, I, I think, again, the way that everything flows mm -hmm. towards that and then kind of that, that poetic language of it, it doesn't feel very much like a traditional essay mm. in the sense that most people write essays. Mm -hmm. It, uh, in many ways, is more a uh, poetic uh, form mm. of writing. So very, very well done uh, mm. and, and, and tremendously insightful yeah. uh, as well because it gives you a lot of practical um, that's, direction. Let's highlight the word. It's the word practical, and right? you can put into practice in life. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, but also... It, it carries a, a form of um, much like a, a novel would, mm. a story would. And so story. it gives you also an experiential, mm. um, it, it invites you into uh, mm. the story. So, yeah, mm. very well done. Mm. Well, I hope Lilian don't take issue with me, but I want to tell you, do not come here with absent mind. Do not carry your everyday usual flow, whatever going on in your family, in your own friend circle, in this class, okay? You be called out and highlighted, I want you to change, okay? So a call out for you is for your benefit. Let me highlight another thing. Your parents will not take an issue with this, okay? So I think they will be greatly appreciated that somebody can have that in your life. They cannot do that with you, maybe. They want me to do that with you. And you want that kind of teacher in your life, you want that kind of friend in your life. Because they help you improve yourself. Amen? This is time to learn, to interact with others. Why don't take full advantage of that? You don't have this often, right? You won't have it. Now you have it, take it as a privilege. Now privilege can be taken away. If I take it away, what are you going to feel about it? It can be feel bad, am I? So our relation will be awkward. And I hope even take it away, you will take initiative to mend the relation to come back. But I want you to learn a lesson. And right now, you don't have to take it away and benefit by such a class. The second thing, recognize you're not a person of your own. Your action, your attitude, the way you carry yourself in front of people around you. And this class depends on each individual their we care themselves, then it's helpful for the whole class. Basically, I don't have bad ample in this basket. Because it's going to rot everybody. Do you understand? You don't want to be that rotten ample anywhere in life. It started from here with the basics. And this change is by somebody waking you up from your mode of carrying yourself to change. Sometimes you feel in a circle, you don't have friends, you don't feel fit in. There's a reason why we don't fit in. Because we carry an impact. We carry an a influence. And that can be easily changed. And we want everybody here to free to change that. And or more importantly, invite everybody here who have a heart for you, who not ridicule you or belittle you, to really to help you, am I? From ground up. But you got to be willing. You got to be willing. You're going to be attentive. So what I address to you young people here, I don't want you to write beautiful essays. That's less important for me, your age. But I do want you, when I tell you taking notes, you're taking notes. That's important to me, in your age. You see, I'm going to, I don't expect you to write the beautiful essay. But you write the best essay in the class, you're going to take notes. I don't want to be here because you carry a wrong way of life into this class. you would be eradicated and highlighted, and you'd be called out. Amen? You need parents call you out. You need the sibling call you out. And when somebody call you out, you need to come back to them and say, thank you for calling me out, so I can change, because nobody will call you out without the heart for you. Do you understand? Yeah, they want you to do good, am I? To be good. So I want you to kind of think in a lot of terms. Even bring that topic to the ones you feel comfortable to talk about it. Your parents, your friend around you said, hey, Kona got changed, can you help me? Can you call me out when sometime I'm 
you know, drift away or something like that. Have a company partner to help you out. That's a true friendship. You can take 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 a turn. Now, what I choose you, young man, because you need that version, really. Okay, and by using your exam highlight, I'm going to help everybody in this class to highlight. Oh my, we're not here just to learn topic, learn writing skill. We learn to develop a right way of life and develop a right relation in life. This is not kicking back time to have fun. This is time to really develop relation in a solid way, in a, in a beneficial way. Making sense to you, you know. So, I think that's why each one. Excited to be here, not for fun time, but really to learn a good constructive way of life, and I think that's what your parents expect us to do. Am I expect upon me? I take that on myself, so I treat you like my own young bad person. <laughs> so don't 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 think strange about that. I'm gonna continue to do that with you, okay? So not picking on you, but to help you, making sense to you. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that with Hannah sometimes. So. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole. I truly want to help you and develop relation with you. Making sense, Elian? Yes.、Yeah, so, okay. Let's move on because Naomi, we have a limited time. So, let's、uh, move on to the next person.、Mm-hmm. Uh, that would be、uh, Kayla, I guess. Kayla. Okay, go ahead, Kila. Does everybody have it? I have it.、Mm. Okay. What is patience? How does it affect or improve one's life? Do you need patience? Patience is a simple word to define, but is a much more difficult habit to apply to one's life. What is patience? According to Webster's Dictionary, patience means to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting frustrated. Patience can also be considered a feeling of waiting. In some translations of the Bible, patience is defined as long suffering, which is a fruit of the spirit.、Mm. Simply thinking about the definition can cause you some anxiety. <laughs> so let's consider how it. How to make it a practice in our lives?、Mm. How does the patience affect or improve one's life?、Mm. Would you try to eat a cake that is only halfway baked? It takes time to ensure that the recipe is fully completed,、mm. so that you can enjoy what it was meant to be. Patience allows you to enjoy the completed cake. Without it, you would be eating warm slop. In life. Sorry. In life, it benefits you to wait for the reward and the finished product, not settling for less.、Mm. Do you need patience? Yes. It is really as simple. It is really as simple an answer as that. You need it because because it is a ben- benefit, and you will feel better about yourself if you practice it. What is patience? How does it affect or improve one's life?、Mm. Do you need patience?、Mm. I hope that this will help you be patient in your waiting, and receive the blessing in your future.、Mm. Well done, Kila. I like it.、Mm. Did this damn your kind of spirit? I want you guys to speak out. Okay, so it's normal. <laughs> we are a family, so we're going to do family. Okay, like so yeah. The way she said that、mm. if you have patience,、mm-hmm. like if you don't have patience, you'll pull out a cake in the middle of the baking, and then it'll be like nothing cooked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's waste everything, right? So yeah. Any anything more? Anything more yet? No. Okay. Uh, no one. Go ahead. Still, the reason why you choose this one.、Mm-hmm. Um, I think with、uh, this one, similar to Naomi's, there was I, I do I just really like the、uh, clarity of expression.、Mm-hmm. That's always something that、um, 
kind of catches uh, my eye. Mm. In specifically an essay, like compared to a poem, which mm. doesn't always have to be yeah. super clear. Mm. Uh, but just the way that she got her thoughts and points across about patience mm-hmm. uh, was done in a, uh, a really s- smooth and easy to understand way. Mm. Uh, I do really like the, uh, in fact, this was what, what I mentioned in the comment too, is my only uh, criticism to Kayla's essay is that I wish there had been more expounding on certain, certain things that she mentioned. Mm. Um, one of which, which uh, I really liked was her uh, similar to how Naomi did with endurance, mm. her uh, comparing the word patience to the word long suffering. Long suffering, huh? Okay. Which is, for any of those that may have heard uh, other teachings we've done, a similar subject, mm. where we've talked about suffering is not merely one going through uh, trials, but how suffering is another word, at least in Old English, for allowance, mm. for allowing things to be. Or to happen, mm. um, and the comparison of patience to a sustained allowance, mm. in other words, long suffering, mm. is uh, I think an in- interesting insight to the quality and virtue of patience, mm. as of course something that uh, enables us through the discipline of our souls um, mm. to either allow circumstances to take their course. Mm. Uh, or to restrain ourselves through self-discipline, mm. um, depending on certain circumstances in life. So, mm. uh, again, as Miles mentioned, I, I do like uh, a simple metaphor as well. Mm. Metaphors are always, both in poetry and in essays, always very much uh, encouraged because in just writing in general, they're very... Um, but should you call this a metaphor rather an example? <coughs> Uh, metaphor, analogy. Okay. It's kind of loose terms, but. <laughs> loose terms. Okay, see. Yeah, a, a, an example mm-hmm. of patience being applied, certainly. Yeah. But it's what metaphors and analogies do is that they enable us to acquire a meaning from them that can be extended beyond the example itself. So I see. Obviously, patience is not just for enabling us to wait for food to finish cooking, but sure. for baking. Yeah. But it's this idea is. Mm. Just applying the, the principle of uh, just waiting for something to take its course and then mm. uh, gaining the fruits that come through our waiting or patience. Mm. Uh, so overall, I think it's uh, very good as well. Mm. Beautiful. Um, Kila, personal inquiry. Have you discussed this with your dad? Not yet? You, 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 have he you discussed this essay with him yet? Have you read it? <laughs> kind of? Okay. So I don't need to borrow his mind. So I'm going to bypass you. Yilin, so. <laughs> so, what do you think? One thing I want to commend you on, mm-hmm. as anyone who's newer to writing essays to take note of, is the this is a pretty perfect example of a five-paragraph structured essay, hmm. which if you're new to writing, this mm-hmm. would be the format that I would encourage anyone who's new to writing essays to follow. Mm. Where you have an introductory paragraph, mm. you list the three points you're going to cover, mm. you then you cover the first point in the first paragraph, mm. the second in the second paragraph, the third in the last, and then having the concluding mm. paragraph. That kind of structure is a um, really good framework to follow mm. um, for new essay writers. And mm. I do, I agree with. Um, what Noah has shared, um, mm-hmm. uh, there were a couple points that I do wish that he would have expounded a little bit more on, like in that last point. Um, but I think that there's a really like lighthearted nature to this that made it really kind of uplifting to to read, and um, I liked the the voice too. Like you are writing to your your speaker. That's another thing in essay writing to kind of um, your determine audience. Is mm-hmm. who are you talking to. Mm. Are you talking to an audience and are you going to address them as you? Are you, you know, talking from just your own perspective mm. or are you going to take kind of an objective third person voice? And so um, mm. kind of defining that at the beginning and maintaining that throughout the whole essay mm. um, is a good thing to pay attention to and to, to practice and you did that very well. So. Mm. Mm. 
Well, anybody else have some input? Mr. I? <laughs> He's yawning, so. Yeah. Well, I actually can't see it, so. Ah, okay. Kind of hard to follow along. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, Elijah, do you have any comments? Yeah, I agree with what mm. people were saying. Mm. It's very. Um, I think it's pretty informative on mm. like, uh, patients itself. And mm -hmm. I agree with the name. The format is really um, good for, especially where people structure things out. Mm -hmm. It's a really good mm. um, example for sure. Mm. It's really good at that world. Mm -hmm. Uh, the example of the cake is very outstanding, I think. It's, it's really highlighted the whole SC. Yeah. Yeah. That's a front board from my mom because she cooked some half cooked cakes before. <laughs> okay. Sometimes happen, you know. So cooks man make mistakes, so you never know. So yeah. Um let's light, have a light heart with these things, okay? So yeah. Um, what's the next person that is going to be Elijah? Oh man, yeah. Okay, patience. There are many attributes that make a respectable human being. Mm -hmm. Love, kindness, honor, honesty, the list could continue. Mm -hmm. But in all these, one stands out in particular. One which is an act of true selflessness and humility. This one is patience. Looking back, back upon the days when I was a young child, the days when the mind and personality were growing and forming at a quickening rate, I remember the words of my mother. I remember she taught me about patience. She taught me what it means to not be impatient, to wait on others to put others before myself. Like a young child, I took these words, these instructions, as any immature mind would. Mm. Not truly really understanding the meaning behind this word, I was mm. taught, mm. nor fully applying it to my life and putting it into practice. Mm. I'm no longer a child. What do I now not understand about patience. Rather than the surface level understanding of patience, there is vastly more to know and understand about it. Let's take a look at the word itself, patience, meaning a tolerance or acceptance of delay or suffering without getting angered. Now let's look at that word, suffering. How does suffering relate to patience? Unknown to some, suffering has a great deal to do with patience. We see it in a father. Say this father had a rough day at work. On his way home, he gets a flat tire. Just hap gets home. Has it happened to your dad? I think it happened to Justin sometimes. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. He finally gets home. Mm. His wife has not prepared dinner, and the household is in disarray. Mm. At this moment, his heart and soul wants to lash out, to yell, to lose control. Mm. But no, through his this suffering, he has learned patience. And so we see that through level a person's level of patience and their maturity in it. We can learn more about them, who they are, really are inside. Mm. We see it in the Bible, in God's gracious long suffering for His people, for the thousands of years have turned their back on His ways, and yet He still is patient and is willing to show love and compassion to His people. Mm. But to be fluent in using patience in life situations, it must first be practiced and applied to life. How is this accomplished? First and foremost, look at what practicing impatience produces. Broken relationships, divided households, anger, hate, and a tainted heart. Mm -hmm. Friends, these are the workings of the enemy. A 
specifically designed and targeted attack towards all mankind, many of which have hit their mark. Mm -hmm. But in this, refrain from being distraught. Mm -hmm. For in practicing daily patience in each moment, each strife, and each joy, we will find our lives to be ones of peace and maturity. Mm -hmm. But above all, but above all these, a life that honors our Father in heaven. Mm -hmm. Be patient as our Father is patient for you. Mm -hmm. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Mm. Four to two. No one, go ahead. I mm -hmm. uh, appreciate the uh, more expansive perspective Elijah takes on patience as something mm. not merely as a uh, as, uh, a necessary quality or virtue of human character, but as something that um, is almost a requirement for those that seek to function as God's people mm. um, and how our uh, or the, hum the human minds or the human hearts uh, inclination to impatience mm. which I think Elijah is one of the few that kind of discusses the fruits or kind of u at least uses the explicitly uses the word impatience mm. in a impatience as almost mm. Uh, its own uh, vice mm. in the same way that patience is a virtue mm. uh, that these things are fruits or results of something deeper mm -hmm. that um, he almost maybe doesn't explicitly state but uh, implies that patience is a fruit of a certain way of life, while impatience is the result of fruit of a, another way mm. of life, or mm -hmm. almost a belief system in a way. Mm. Um, I do also, as with other essays, uh, appreciate his uh, use of an example. Mm. In, this, in this particular case, I would definitely call it an example of a uh, mm. The, uh, the father mm -hmm. um, in fact it reminds me of a, I think an example a very similar well, identical example given by uh, Derek Prince when he's discussing mm. uh, interesting I mentioned this morning just <laughs> yeah. the effects yeah, of, right. of demons of specifically of anger oh. he actually mentions the same exact example. how you get a hold of a person okay yeah, yeah. Well, his, his example, it actually oh. goes wrong. So. Oh, that's true. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, he also, in similar to Kayla, he had mentioned. Yeah. He he made a uh, a parallel between patience and suffering. Um, he had a somewhat different take on it. Yes. Um. Mm. Anyways, uh, mm. overall, the yes, it was. Mm. Very it's very beautiful. Hmm. I think your wording can be improved, you know, not that uh, to, to, it can be succinct in us. So. Yeah. I like Naomi's this, this, this clarity in expression, so I take time to, to get there. So I think you need to pay attention to it, be a little, you know, more expressive and succinct with your expression. So, yeah. Uh, Justin, what do you think about this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think one of the things strengths that Elijah mm -hmm. has that I notice right away is in the, that second paragraph there, he appeals to nostalgia. Mm. <laughs> so a reflection back on the past. Yeah. And I think in in many ways also also giving you kind of letting the guard down to the reader because they can identify like uh, yeah. because he he uses the example of his immature mind. We're which, personal, but which is yeah. a pretty that's a pretty yeah. powerful thing to yeah. state with people who you. Mm. You're, you're vulnerable, no, I'm right? Yeah, so that, right, that level right. of vulnerability, which I think Elijah has mm. increasingly developed, kind of mm. cultivated that part yeah, in his yeah, writings, yeah, yeah. Um, I think invites you in and then and mm. so kind of gets you reflective, nostalgic about thinking about childhood yeah. and then pulls it into um, in the more modern context of now mm. that I've learned, mm. uh, that he's learned from these things. And I think that particular style of writing is really beneficial mm. because it can it will do two, one of two things. Mm. Either the reader can read this 
and almost get an offense because it's like, well, am I am I immature because I haven't practiced it? <laughs> Which see. is a good thing to co- to cause within you. But it's also very hopeful yeah. in that as he continues to go through, he he offers kind of the way of escape for the yeah. for the person who isn't patient. Sure, to, yeah, yeah. To begin to practice this yeah, as, a, yeah. as a way of life again, using that example in an ex in a su- successful attempt of, of dealing with suffering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I think. Uh, Wrapping it up succinctly within a scripture itself, mm. be completely humble and gentle, mm. be patient, bearing with one another in love, which I love that verse in yeah. general, mm. but but using patience mm. and then also noting that with patience, it does mean that you're going to have to bear, mm. you're going to have to deal with difficulties. Yeah. So it's not the absence of, of difficulty, but... Yeah. You know, you guys are beginning to mature in thoughts, in expressiveness. It's definitely reflecting your essay writing, so this is a very good example. So, um, but I want to to hear someone special today uh, as a sibling. Uh, Esther, what do you think? <laughs> well, I really like that. So, um, my uh-huh. question said I really liked how you uh-huh. talked about when you were younger, and uh. I just like how it. Uh, goes all together really well, just kind of how you grew up and mm. get to understand things better. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think for all of us, we can relate to being young and not um, mm-hmm. putting things into practice. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I really like the end where you tie everything together about mm-hmm. in God's Word. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I really like this last name. Mm. Bless the Lord. This morning we had a little bit of time with uh, reflecting this past year what you know what happened to Elijah. He almost teary about some great change in his life. You know, God done some tremendous work. I can see it, you know, not necessarily to almost like from a, a more detached point of view. You know, so I see the some fundamental changes in this young life is a I can call miracles, milestone changes, you know. So look back this past year that's a good essay to write and thinking about each person take time to look what God doing in your life. And right? some major events taking place. The fries make a lot of changes, <laughs> move everything and emerge into a new community, develop new relations. There are a lot of things I think happen to individuals as well. A life take reflection, you know, it's good to meditate, to reflect on things. Uh, so you learn, um, I think in the beginning we discussed with uh, Elijah, so the, uh, Elian taking encouragement in this. When you, Elijah came to me, his, his mind is somewhere else all the time. <laughs> so I just said, okay, we can't be always wandering, you know. We spend time together, we want to engage and really be productive with our time together. And by the way, that's not the way you want to do things in life because you need to be released. When you concentrate, you make that time very effective for you. Then you're free to do other things, you know, and get things done, wrap it up. Don't worry about it. Have fun. But if you don't know how to do that, you waste the time in more than with yourself time. Waste that everything is around, everyone around that time. And you don't take advantage of it. And you have to make it up in the days or other occasions. So, you, you know, life don't, don't allow us to run our own pace, am I? You have its own demand and need. So you're going to have to make it up. And it's hard to make it up because you know what? Surrounding you provides the ideal or the help environment for you to make up. You're going to live on your own. You're know, scattered away, on uh, unassisted way to do it. And uh, it, it, it's more than that. You, maybe you can do it, but it's a relationship. The pacing of life is broken. So oftentimes that is, can be very disorienting to our emotion, to our relationship, to our endeavors life. You seldom find the pace and the, then find the enjoyment of a help, healthy relationships. You always do things on your own, in your own pace. Then you cannot learn how to work with others in unison, right? Making sense to you? To, to, you know, 
exchangeable way. Young man, I try to tell you, <laughs> be not absent-minded. Absent-minded is more than detrimental for your own self. It's detrimental to everyone around you. Nobody wants to engage an absent-minded person. Nobody. Your parents cannot tolerate that, especially. So one who really wants to know you, to have your life, they absolutely offended by that. And they, nobody like the person try to have dinner with you. He's, he's my somewhere else. Then so why should I have dinner with you? <laughs> Obviously, you don't care about it. I'm sorry. So use the example, am I right? So absent minded cause that kind of friction in relationships. And people begin to withdraw from you. And you can't blame people because we're not really invest in the moment, enjoy the moment. And when people are available for us, and we need to sort it out to be the positive input in life. If we're absent-minded, we can never able to turn the table. Am I said? So can I be an in, input in your life? Be a friend to you. Be a teacher to you. Be a helper to you. We just literally never able to do that because we don't know how to do it to ourselves yet. So you never reap the other benefit is that to develop relation to expand your life, because what a simple, simple discipline called absent mindness. You're not quite there. You know, it's just not here. Nobody can teach or work with somebody <laughs> not there. <laughs> you don't want a placeholder. So you wanted to spend your time to either be able to be there, then I'm a whole heart to be there. If I'm not there, I don't need to be there. I do something else, you know. So let me not be there. So you can make decision simple, like simplify your life and make your life more productive, you know. So as well, I don't want to pick on you. I'm talking about Elijah. Take a maybe three months, six months. He get out of that mode. I mean, when I, the first time began to do programming with Noah, he barely paid attention for five minutes. So I run away, run away. It's your age, so I understand your age. <laughs> but I tell him, now I want you to learn to type. He's not able to type good. Learn to type. I want you to listen continually. You would say, young man, I can help people around yourself, or especially say, oh, they have a short time span. That's a lie. Why is a lie? Simple. You're gonna play a game. How long you take time to bypass a a a, a stage? <laughs> you spend hours, am I right? Try many times. You stay all night to watch a movie. Making sense to you because it interests you. Making sense to you, you run away. Don't even spend time. Just have a friend because you hang around together. You feel joyful. Making sense to you. You listen music, concert, hours. You don't get get off it because it hard is in it. So young people, extremely capable actually, be concentrated because they're full of energy, full of curiosity. Once you get that applied as a little bit discipline in the thing you do, not the drifting by things that you think is important, appeal to your soul. Or the moment of the the day, am I? So, said I'm going to concentrate in this time. I can the lessons and mind what he tried to say. And the most helpful thing to to start that is taking notes. Notes is a helper for you to concentrate your mind. That's why otherwise young people take notes. When Noah doing that, he's capable. Was mind Noah's doing that? He do that in about one month. He never get up absent-minded. His his typing still catch up. Two months later, I'm I'm slower than him. So, two months changed. The rest of life benefit by that. We never spend time together unfruitful. I I don't need to to engage that mode anymore. I was have substantial time with him. Our time is condensed. Substantial and most uplifting because we don't rest or struggle with this, this unfruitful thing, right? So it's gone, it's done, you know. So 
with Elijah, I compound the right essay called mindfulness. I'm not give an essay for everybody. Learn to be mindful of things you do. The second, I tell him, Elijah, you can take like notes. You know, because you, you can't concentrate. You don't know how to concentrate. But you're taking notes. In the beginning, just compel you to do it. It disciplines yourself to continue to engage, come back to them, to the poem. Am I making sense to you? So, now the important is some conversations or learning experiences in life take a continuation. You cannot do it one session, one time. It's one stage, the next stage, another stage. You don't remember or build the former condition, preparedness. You can't continue. You know, you learn math, you learn one plus one equal two, and those kind of things, multiplication basis. Can you learn the higher level of math without knowing those basic skill multiplication, plus, minus? You can't. You can't move on. Making sense to you? You want to move on. You were curious of the math, but use basic skill sets not mastered, not under your belt. Can you move on? I'm a good teacher. I want to teach you. I can't move on with you because you can't do it. So once you've done it, it's not a hindrance, uh, intimidating effort for you. It becomes a, a happy hell for you. Yeah, I know how to do multiplication, no problem. Let's concentrate on the real problem at hand, which I want to learn. Making sense to you? So it's a basic building life. The build block, this attitude, this approach it itself, in every situation, in every subject, in every day of life, is a foundation. It's a foundation of all foundations. Making sense to you? Yeah, you want to work with people like that. You want to be a teacher like that. You want to be an example like that. Making sense to you? Pay attention to the beginning of small things. Hmm? Pay attention to it. It's not a small thing because it matters the rest of your life. You know, I have to take a turn like today with you. I back and forth talk to Elijah about this. Because in the beginning, we think it's a regime I can just easy with. I'm going to decide how I do it. Or life don't, or relation, or situation don't run like you design it. It's, it's, it's like a principle, it's a law, am I right? So, you know, you, you don't fight against it. It's not decided by anyone. You go to the fire floor, you're going to jump down the ground. So I gradually all that work for me. You'd be foolish to try. You hurt yourself. You hurt once, well, have a lame leg broke. <laughs> you will know <laughs> how difficult it is, why those laws, you know, how detrimental it can be. So I'm saying to you, there is an invisible principle in life as well. So relationship depends on it. Learn successfully, effectively the subject depends on it. Most importantly, you want to chart a successful life in God, to serve God, serve others. Serve others. Be a teacher. Be a leader. That's a basic skill. Because people need that. They're looking for that. You don't have that. Those things are absent from yourself. What kind of teacher you can be? Hope you can trust you as a, as a leader. They can't, am I? You don't pay attention to the basics of life. So I want you to pray now. Pray for all of us. Okay? So, yeah. Can you do that? Mm hmm Good. Want to pray for everyone? Yes, uh, for yourself as well. So, dear Lord, I pray that we all today can attain knowledge. I pray that uh, I can learn to understand more. Mm -hmm. uh, I pray that. Uh, I can learn to be less absent-minded. Mm. Amen. That's a very good word. Absent-minded. Who is here? Oh, whoa, Hello. brother. <laughs> come around, come around. I want you to lay hands on Elian. Let's pray for him. I want to pray for him. So. Good times. So, oh. please, yeah. Elian, let your dad lay hands on you. So, yeah, come around. Just into the same. So, yeah. Well, you come to this lesson, this occasion. We don't divide the spiritual lessons, subject lessons. It's all flew together for me. <laughs> I want to use all this occasion to be a bridge platform 
to teach you guys do life, you know, do relationships. That's more important than the subject matter in the hand. So, yeah. Go ahead, brother. Mm -hmm. yeah. God, we just come to you and I want to lift up Liam to you. Uh, we thank you for him, Lord. We thank you for the spirit that you've given him. Mm. Thank you for his sense of humor, mm. his willing spirit, God. And we just lift up this time, Lord. Mm. We pray that you use it, Lord. Use the teachers here. Use his friends here. Mm. And help to mold him, God. Mm. Help him to take advantage of this time. Mm. Allow it to grow a strong foundation mm. that builds resiliency, God, mm. against the things that this world throws at him. Mm. Give him tools and techniques. Mm. Mostly, Lord, give him a heart for you. Mm. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for him. Mm. Bless the Lord. Mm. You believe that? Or you damn pray for you? <laughs> well, that's the Lord's working on you. Mm. His, his eyes on you. He wants you to change. And we're easy. It's basics, you know. One plus one. Two, am right? Started from there. And life take it where where exponential growth curve. Would you like to then start it for the season to come? I think you long for that, am right? So we pray for you for that to start in your life. Is that okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you have to respond. There are obligations on our part to respond, to conform to the will of God, mm -hmm. to apply diligence in it. It's in the mind. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Justin. Mm. Father, we do uh, pray, uh, Lord, that your spirit would, uh, would truly set this as a marker mm. today, as a marker in Liam's life, Lord, that, that he would receive the instruction and the correction in the heart of the Lord, in the spirit of the Lord. Mm. Father, I do even speak against um, the spiritual forces that would try to hinder his progress. Mm. Lord, because you have you have purposed him, mm. uh, Lord, to, to walk with sober-mindedness, with clarity of thought, mm. as a leader, Lord, and, and the very things that you have purposed, uh, the enemy would try to, to, to steal, to rob, mm. to destroy in him. And so, Father, I pray that you would give him firmly uh, rooted and founded feet on your purposes, on your plans, mm. Lord, that you would wash over his, his mind and his heart the truth of your word, the truth of your purpose, uh, Father, and that you would not allow offense any place. Lord, mm. in fact, we speak against the spirit of offense. Mm. Lord, but that he would take it uh, as, as, as your son in the house of the Lord, uh, as correction, as an act of love, mm. an act of encouragement, mm. and an act of grace in his life, Lord. Mm. And, and may he truly be properly trained mm. uh, by uh, the words that have gone forward. Mm. Uh, Lord, that he might find joy, mm. uh, joy in even the correction uh, of life. Mm. Uh, but we do, Lord, we do continue to establish him as yours. Mm. Uh, and we speak that forward. And, and so, Father, we, we link arm in arm with him to, uh, to take joy with him in his mm. successes, mm. Uh, to take joy with him when he stumbles. <laughs> uh, Lord, not in judgment, mm. uh, not in condemnation, Lord, mm. but in a walking together. Uh, as your people in your house with your purposes. Mm. And so, for, Father, we, we ask you to, to continue to call the man of God mm. forward, Lord, and to put Amen. away the season uh, of, of childish things. Mm. Uh, Lord, which is uh, this, our gathering is, mm. is a gathering of bringing to maturity mm -hmm. uh, the sons of God. Mm. Lord, and, and I thank you as well for Brother Emmanuel mm. and his heart and his love uh, towards mm. Liam. And, uh, and his uh, wise counsel, Lord, may it, uh, may it be settled in his heart as the word coming from the Father. Uh, and Lord, may it be established in truth mm. and perseverance and patience. Mm. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.